So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a drone prefab in your new scene. Now before we can do all that, we need to set up the drone's custom input accesses. Now the quickest way to do this is to head to the project tab on the left, find the folder called assets, right click on it, and then select show in explorer. Next thing we're going to do is head to professional assets, drone pack, and find the file called input manager. Select this file, drag it, and drop it in the project settings. It's going to ask if you want to replace that file. Now what this is going to do is it's going to overwrite all input access files in your project settings. If you have custom input access files that you do not want to overwrite, you can watch the in-depth drone setup tutorial. But if you're sure that you have no custom input files that you need to keep, you can go ahead and replace the file. Okay, great. Now we're ready to start setting up drones. To do this, head to Professional Assets, Drone Pack, Prefabs, and drag one of these three drones into your scene. Next, drag the drone camera prefab into your scene. And then position it behind your drone. If you followed these steps correctly and set up the drone's custom input access, then the drone should be ready to fly. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own custom drone. To do this, head to Professional Assets, Drone Pack, Prefabs, and drag in the drone custom prefab into your scene. Next, drag in the drone camera prefab into your scene. Next thing you need to do is drag in your own custom model or mesh. And then parent it to the drone's root node. I'm going to zero out its transform position and its rotation. I'm going to adjust its offset a bit. And then I'm going to fix the drone's box collider to better fit the custom model. If you follow these steps correctly and set up the drone's custom access input, then the drone should be ready to fly. Yeah. 